ignore_time_segment_in_scoring morning there you're watching QTV this morning and I'm your host Jennifer Sonko and here with my co-host slash Hulu Wale Alusise. <laughs> Thank you very much Jennifer it's a pleasure to be back here. Yeah it was an interesting show yesterday. Indeed. I really yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah sometimes yeah. it's just good to you know agree to disagree yeah. when it comes to these things in as much as mindsets should change it's high time <laughs> that mindsets change and and we get to move on right. Yeah, very important. Why did you get to the place? 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 Why did you get to the you get to the place? All right, so yeah, we have the African proof up as usual. Yeah. We have the newspaper review, and um, our guest is already here, Mumudun Boch, to help us analyze some of the stories that we have on the papers. And on social issues today, we'll be talking about um, the Not Too Young to Lead campaign. We will be joined by Mohamed Sise. Um, this started way back, you know, trying to encourage more young people. And the parliamentary election is in April, it's fast approaching. So I believe they want to start their campaign as early as possible to get more young people up and running when it comes to um, the parliamentary and mayoral elections. And click as usual, um, Chachil Baza will join us to take us through what is happening in the world of entertainment. So Aliu, um, before we go to our African program, I just want to know, what plans do you have for this weekend? Today is the last day of the program. Today is the last day of the week. Yeah, yeah. The weekend obviously is all about the much talk about game between Gambia and Cameroon. I was expecting Saturday. that. <laughs> At 4 p.m. local time, 5 p.m. in Douala. Yeah. It's a game that all of us are looking forward to. Mm -hmm. And yes, and perhaps other social events. Yeah. Where are you? football. Yes. So, Mr. Mbouj, I'm not you going to say it Yeah, come on. You've been playing in the return finals. I really, I love football. Yeah. Both 
you know, when we could perform and now watching it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and, I, and I can remember Mr. Boy told me one thing. Manako ha, why gambe sun wini mbadi ni muna sol tisha abe muna did it. Fandanga loyal. Wow. Danga kuntine. Yeah, never sun lose it. Wang manelo sun lose it. Muna ma did it. Muna ma infak lo luwa raki na muna tahanga solko. So kote fenga one guy ne. Ah, Sufiye Monsah muna. To kota fanas bi Sufiye Monsah muna. Ah, it's the way na kode demi de. Gambe bi Senegal bi demi wa kobi. Ah, muna muna guy na ah. Why do you want to be in the final? Why do you want to be in the final? So let's take a look at our African proverb. What is our African proverb for this morning? Yeah, African proverb says, when you befriend a chief, remember that he sits on a rope. Okay, when you befriend a chief, remember that he sits on a rope. So for me, for me, this proverb is not actually talking about the friend. For me, that's my own concept, mm -hmm. is about the chief and the chief circle. Mm -hmm. This is telling me that when you have responsibility, there are certain responsibilities that you take as an individual. You have to watch out for your circle, mm -hmm. the kind of friends that you have, the kind of people that you move with. Because in as much as you want to live a free life and just a normal like, like life like everybody else, there's just something attached to your name and you have to watch out. And when I say watch out, I don't mean, obviously, they're not normal things that you need to do as an individual and with your friends or your circle. But when just something is pegged to your name, they're just places where you need to stop. You have your limitations. That's how I see this. I don't know. Mr. Mboj is shaking his head. Yeah, I'm no, not I'm sure. just listening. <laughs> now we listen to Ali. Okay, Ali, what's your take? <laughs> well, uh, for me, I mean, if, if, if you have to go by the proverb, what it is saying, I mean, you can befriend a chief, mm -hmm. but remember also that same chief also is limited. Mm -hmm. You know, he is he also is limited, and mm -hmm. in that case, you really have to be mm -hmm. be mindful of decisions that you make. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can befriend a chief, yes, he is the chief, but mm -hmm. then remember also there are limitations as far as his or her rules and responsibilities are, are, are concerned. Sure. And, and in that case, you mm -hmm. really have to also be careful of the decisions you make, yeah. even yeah. though you befriend the chief. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's my own understanding. Yes, it's, it's very close because just imagine sitting mm -hmm. on a rope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, that imagery yeah. is quite interesting mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. What you're moving about, yeah. sort of, you, you are um, I'm subject to all kinds of forces there. You're so balancing yeah. yourself. Mm -hmm. So if you befriend such a person, mm -hmm. you must be careful. I think this, this, this proverb mm -hmm. is particularly apt yeah. in, in, in our society, mm -hmm. really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, because what do we do because of the social nexus, the social um, 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 connections that we have? Mm -hmm. Then that's what I use and I go and um, um, get a job, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go to the very top, the head, mm -hmm. you know, then we sort of like, you, you, you compromise his position. Sure. You know, you want a job, you need this favor, mm -hmm. you need that mm -hmm. favor. This is how corruption happens. Yeah. So you, when I befriend somebody who is in a certain position, I must be very careful what I ask him. Exactly. Or her. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I must make it easy. I should be selfish. Yeah. But because there are certain family connections, the person would feel sort of compelled, mm -hmm. you know, to do it and stuff like that. Yeah. So I see it in that way yeah. that I should be careful in how I befriend somebody in certain yeah. positions. So, so the thing is, as I, I, so the thing is, like, I, as an as, as individual, I am taking a look at not jeopardizing Absolutely. the person in, in power yeah. if the person is your friend mm -hmm. or if the person is something to you you should not do anything that will jeopardize Absolutely. the person's position Absolutely. for example we say show me who your friend is and i'll tell you who you are Absolutely. so it's left to the way the next person is behaving Absolutely. that you go side by side with mm -hmm. sometimes if corrupt practices happen or the person is in jail and you know president bidal moi haritam Sometimes, even if the judgment is done right, no, I'm talking about, I'm not talking about Ngambe here. I'm just even, please. It's just I'm just, a general. Yeah, general. it's a general. I'm not talking about Gambia. Yeah, disclaimer. So I'm just trying to say that, um, it, it, you know, you should not jeopardize in any way the person in power. Sometimes, even if uh, an individual that you're friends with is in power and you get locked up or something happens, even if you get away with it and you deserve to get away with it, people will still peg it to the fact that your friend is in position. Yeah. And this takes me to just having little circles i think as individuals as leaders it's also important sometimes to just cross check your circle vet it well look at the people that you're associating with have a similar vision because if that happens at least those people also will kind of watch their step because if you just 
in the circle with different different people doing different different things it might be hard to control what the next person is doing and there's something attached to your name that is what i think uh, uh, for, for me i mean it, it, it's important like yeah. mr 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 said i mean for example let's take the case of jami for example you know we had people who were very close to jami back then they overdo things in the name of their sure. close to jami sure right mm -hmm. and today those are the same people who are now regretting what they had done in mm -hmm. the past. For them, it was thing that will always continue. Mm -hmm. And just like you said, I mean, they overdo things because they were close to Jami. For them, Jami was their savior. Mm -hmm. w without, without him, I mean, so. Uh, 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 absolutely. So mm -hmm. this is where you need the, the person sitting on the rope reminding you, yeah. mm -hmm. reminding the circle, mm -hmm. as, as it were. So this is where you need, um, um, tough-minded leadership. Mm -hmm. Leadership must be really very, very tough-minded. Um, earlier on, I think you were talking about like-minded people, sure. yeah. you know, being together, forming a group, as, yeah. as it were, because it is mutually reinforcing. Mm -hmm. You know, if you are set on a good, um, um, on, on a good thing, yeah. on a good um, path, as it were, then you will all support each other, you will get there. And it, it should be genuine, you be know. Genuine. It should be genuine. And you should be able to resist anything that has to do with doing something fraudulent on behalf of the individual in power as well that is also important um, <laughs> yes of course the, all of all of these things are very very important i think this is sort of like a, a, a moral lesson yeah. here for, for all of us yeah. Yeah. that we should be sensitive mm -hmm. to certain responsibilities that people have mm -hmm. Perhaps we shouldn't put pressure on them so much just because we are family mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that. That would make them compromise their responsibilities, sure. as, as it were. Sure. I think that is really the, the moral lesson for us. And I think it is particularly, particularly relevant in our kind of societies. Mm -hmm. We know how the, the, the corruption works, mm -hmm. as, as it were. That's what we call it generally. The, the ideas that lead to that socially, it's good to, to, to give gifts mm -hmm. and to do favors. Mm -hmm. But again, we find that there's a clash to work with when I go to the office. Mm -hmm. You see, the kind of culture I need in the office is different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But how do you disentangle the two? Mm -hmm. You just have the same person there. Mm -hmm. So this is our challenge for how I can be generous, nice when I'm at home with my neighbors, my family and stuff. Mm -hmm. But when I'm at work, oh, I'm sorry. It's you can be my son, my mm -hmm. daughter, my brother, my sister. I'm sorry I have rules to follow. Yeah. <laughs> Unless so if you're competent. Like that. Yeah. If you are competent <coughs> for the position, maybe, then one can understand. But, but what does competence mean? This is, we are talking about the same thing. If you mean by competence a kind of technical ability, yeah. expertise, well, that's one element. Mm -hmm. But my morality is something else. You can yeah, have, you can have, thing. you can have a talented maniac yeah. for God's sake. Mm -hmm. y you can have sort of what they call high IQ morons mm -hmm. for God's sake. You can have all sorts of uh, things. Mm -hmm. For me to be cognitively brilliant is mm -hmm. one thing. Mm -hmm. But in my qualities as a human being, am I honest? Mm -hmm. You know, do, do I do the right thing? Mm -hmm. Am I generous? Do I help people? Mm -hmm. That's something entirely different. Yeah. I'm not sure there's any correlation. All right. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, I, I think the proverb is interesting. When you befriend a chief, remember that he sits on the rope. Ali, we're just giving a quick update right now that yeah. all of the players um, have tested negative um, ahead of our game on Saturday. On Saturday. Yes, yeah, so thank, thank God all of them are negative. So now it's just left to us to go on the pitch and do what's right. Yeah, and I, I find this very interesting. Yeah. If, if you remember, uh, if you look at, if you look back at all the games that Cameroon had played, mm -hmm. all their opponents in one way or the other must have few of their players, you know, testing, testing, you know, tested positive for, for the COVID-19. And because of that, I think we have seen at some point, even the, the CAF, you know, has to, has to, you know, turn to an independent body to be conducting this test. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, you know, this week, early yeah. this week, you know, we saw the president of CAF, you know, making the announcement that... But why now? Perhaps, uh, well... The pe 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 people yeah. have been talking. People, people have been talking, but that should have, <laughs> Why that could have been avoided. Absolutely. Huh? But that could have been avoided. They yeah. could have done that since the beginning to have an independent body testing people to avoid, you know, any of these things to have fair play. How sure are we that, you know, the, the those tests 
were positive or negative. Yeah, because, we don't because, know because, about because, that. Because of the, you know, we have seen they, they said CAFAS now turned an independent COVID test, you know, laboratory that has been responsible for conducting similar tests during the Euro. Yeah. You know, they came to the tournament with their own independence. Independent. So perhaps because, like Mr. 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 Mboch rightly mentioned, there have been so, so many questions raised yeah. as far as, you know, the issue of Cameroon is concerned. concerned. I mean, all the games that they played, I mean, none of their players is tested positive and they are living in their own country. Yes. Yeah, so they have the freedom to go in and out. Out and but do what not. Most of, so most of these foreign teams, I mean, they don't go out. Yeah. From their yeah. hotel to the field and match. So how yeah. comes, you no? Know, it's very <laughs> suspicious <laughs> exactly, and so. like you mentioned the independent body should have been set up a long time ago just so no one would kind of feel like they cheated or something mm -hmm. but yeah so Ali, i think we can go for a short commercial break yes, now and when we come back yes, we look at, we the look at the newspaper, newspaper. Yeah. all right we'll be right back In your SUV life, S Pass Motors, the new authorized dealer for Kia. Visit us today or call us on 35222232232. Welcome back from that break if you're just tuning in you're watching qtv this morning and now ali we're heading right on to newspaper review yes uh i have the point newspaper here it says uh scorpions to be rewarded ten thousand us dollars each i mean that was after they won the won their game against guinea in okay. the quarterfinals we also saw economic allegedly arrest acting Jarrell alcalo drug law enforcement agency of the gambia arrest 12 and then Retired Gambia Ferry Service Manager advises government not to privatize ferries. Those, uh, that's what I'm having on the yeah. point. And uh, like we said, I mean, elections is coming up and already some people have started expressing interest. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing one Haruna Jalo to run for uh, parliamentary election in Sami uh, constituency mm -hmm. and also Combo South endorses KK Barrow for the election. Perhaps, you know, we should also endorse Geneva Sonko for... Four? Which constituency do you belong to? Alio, you have to be in the middle of the day. You have to endorse my father. Yes. Yes. My father is the same as my father. No, my father is the same as my father. No, my father is the same as my father. No, my father is the same as my father. My father is the same as my father. I declare that my father is the same as my father. 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 Bubu ba Mister Boy di bina smart speedy. Eh, why my neck a candidate? But I'm confident. Di tojal ni ni na. You know the ma, you know debate so ame. The ma pangas smart opponent. The ma joke pangas opponent. Kau yang nak pel. The ma, the ma beri, the ma beri paling mesar Afrika bi. Wah, joke ni pangas kiri. Yes, is that all? Yes, on on the progress. Yes, so on on progress we have um please ask help for search of missing eight year old. And also, we have several people reportedly killed, missing in MFDC, economic clash in Gambian territory. And also, um, we have High Court turns down KMC's request to suspend commission of inquiry. And again, we have Central Bank, private lawyers alleged in 4 million banking scandal. And on Foria here, we have few stories on child labor. It says here that many... Many Gambians liable to prosecution and also FGM menace and why young people must be educated when it comes to their sexual life. And also um, the Truth Commission recommends review of uh, the Public Order Act. And um, on the editorial, we have what brought economic to the Gambia? That's the question, quite obvious anyway. Yeah. But Ali, I think we should start with one thing because when you read the headline, I saw smiles all over Mr. Boyd's yeah. face mm. when you said former DG of the Gambia Ports Authority yeah. or of oh, the uh, ferry, uh, ferry service yeah. is recommending that, yeah. you that know, it should, should not be should privatized, not privatized at all. For some reason, the ferry service, they're, they're just frowning at, you know, 
having a competitor or just privatizing things when it comes to the ferry service. But other people also have the belief that that's only the way forward when it comes to improving its service. Just uh, what they made a best comment by uh, Keba Masane, Sise? Yeah. Yes, it's, it's the eternal question, isn't it? Yeah. To privatize or not to privatize? Mm -hmm. The debate has been, <laughs> the debate has been <laughs> going on yeah. since, since independence. Yeah, really. So it seems that um, our reflex sort of is like we're against privatization. We're just scared of privatization. There's something about privatization because people think that um, things will be more expensive. You know, they, they think about cost and one, and even sort of reliability, you know, that, that, that sort of thing. So they contrast that the, the, the private firm, the motivating factor of, of the private firm is to make profits mm -hmm. and, and then it, when it's in the hands of the state, then they will think about its social function and all the rest of it. But he himself in the piece has said that right now the ferry services, they are in lamentable situation. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He used that yeah. term. So in the end, you see, Jenna, but I laughed earlier because yeah. somehow you see me as a kind of privatization freak. Yeah. But, but I'm not really like that. Mm -hmm. In the end, it doesn't matter whether it's privatized or state-owned. What we want is really efficient mm -hmm. management mm -hmm. of that service. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But what we have seen, our experiences, is that really the state sector, they seem not to be able to run things. Yes, and, and the last time that, that um, fact representatives from here came in, they're saying that for the Ports Authority supporting the Gambia Ferry Service, it's not an investment, it's a burden. Absolutely. It's a burden because they can't actually make the money with the coming of bridges and all of that. They're not just bringing in strategic, strategic ways of just making money and providing the right services. And now they're walking towards handling the bridge in a way that the money will go into the Gambia Ferry Service coffers because at least that is the reason why they don't have ferries anymore. That's what they're saying. Well, just go and see whether they make profits at the end of the year. From that as well. That's it. So we have to judge this as a company. Is it making profits? We, we apply the objective criteria that we apply to these things and see whether they, whether they are viable. Are they making profits? What's going on? I know that people are trying to emphasize its social function. Granted, we understand. But ferries can be in the private hands and yet perform that function. Sure. When you yeah. look around the world, and, 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 and there are many ferry and services that have been privatized and they're working perfectly well. And, yeah. and that's my question. Why the fear? Why are they w all worried about privatizing the ferries? But this yeah. is what I mean. That's why <laughs> I call it a reflex. Yeah. Because when you think about yeah. it, yeah. why? In, in fact, mm. you see, I'm not, I'm not a <laughs> let, me, let me tell you a story. Um, there is this journalist who once recounted an episode with, with Margaret Thatcher. It was the minister who tried to sort of make her see that actually when you privatize something, that's when you can genuinely have control over it, mm. funnily enough. Because when you privatize, you're going to have a regulatory body. Sure. Yes? You've got your contract, the conditions. Mm -hmm. Whenever they do not fulfill what you have agreed, then you've got these sanctions. Sure. You know private sector, how they think about it. You know here at your group how things are run. Yeah. The private sector, you will go to work. Mm -hmm. You will do this. You, you will do, do that. that. And if, you know, the continuation of the contract depends on my performance, Oh, you, you know perform. that I'm going to have to deliver. Yeah. So that is when actually you can control the entity, mm -hmm. <laughs> not in, in yeah. public hands, uh, really. Hoj, it I is very, very interesting. Yes. So people sort of miss what privatization means. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean a lot of things, really. Everything will depend on what you agree. Yeah. <laughs> you know I, I think Mr. Mojirai right right now is making so much <laughs> sense because, you know, when you work in public institutions, it's a matter of nyunyep nyoko boka. People sometimes people behave anyhow, just do anything. If but when it comes to the you don't have a clock in. I can bet I can bet right now if you go to most of these public institutions. What? Right now you need to talk. You need to talk. I have a clock. I have a clock. I have a clock. Two o'clock, half two. Demi le ane kadi pengo, gani ane kadi kuni nyibi, fi gani nyibi kero, fi fi ma iyo at minute icha, you know eight thirty or so by nine, I'm gonna have breakfast. Wow. Then there is somebody going down to make sure that that happens. Wow. So you go anywhere else, that doesn't happen. People think that they're doing you a favour. They they even play games on you. I remember a friend of mine who was a former permanent secretary in this country went to change his um ID card. Ah, uncle Amunde Ward. Now, he said, no, I'm not going to give anything. Then, <laughs> boy, boy, you want to play? Yeah. He'll say, okay, Uncle Nyewal, <laughs> 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 
you want to play? This is what happens. <laughs> Uncle Newell elect. Yeah. And then they will keep on, you know, Uncle Newell gonna elect. That's it. Back and, forth, and forth. back and forth. There's nobody monitoring them. They mm. can do whatever they like. Mm -hmm. Wah, dek, wah, dek. Wah, dek, wah, dek, wah, dek. And that's why the issue of this civil service reform and all that is 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 very important. I mean, sometimes you go to some of these government institutions, like I said. I mean, is 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 the reality. It's a sad reality, but this what what happens in most of these government institutions. People don't go to work on time. But for the solemn lady, you know, la, muni mada ha. They are on social media. I mean, soon pare by two o'clock, three o'clock. They are God, Mr. President. Perhaps you are watching, or somebody close to you is watching this program. Mm -hmm. This is something that you, that you really need to look into. Yeah, right? it, it needs to be important. looked into. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Mr. Ade Oyema said, I'm not going to be able to do it. You know, you those if these things happen in all institutions, then everybody will come to work and, and, and deliver and, and, as and expected. The, and the thing, the, the one thing about the private sector, mm. like uh, Mr. Mr. Mbonyumko here, for example, for Kill Group, what? even for example, you have a QTV, so that you work overtime, you close late, you communicate. Monday, you know, time or you call your supervisor, for example, Mr. Adi mm. or Mr. Mbonyumko, or Babu Kangana mm. well, because of this thing, do my tell you. And what? it is noted. And it's justified. Look at key to tell and you tell because maybe general close you are very late. You will be around midnight or one a.m. And because of the dumuna tell and you and dum bono by midday you are here. Understand? But in the government, my friend. Anyway, why? Anyway, we are hitting so hard. Most of them. Why we are sending some love as well and some support to two two people working in government sector and working hard. The people, there are some people that I know, they're walking yeah, there. Yeah. They have so much passion. Exactly. They're walking, they're pushing, you know. But but the fact that you're working for public institution, mm -hmm. and, and we have to be careful here. Mm -hmm. Public sector, um, it's not a job. It's public service. Mm. If you really want money and material stuff, go to the private sector. Mm -hmm. Form your own company and see how difficult it is. Mm -hmm. When you go to the public sector, Particularly in in our sort of economy, mm -hmm. your no, pay I is never gonna be much. No, why like you don't tell me that is not realistic. This by pay scale, July, how many people get hard to go now for a while? Why, Mr. Mo? I'm not institutions in their favor. I'm not institutions in my own summer now. Ah, bad. What I'm saying. I'm not your home, Mr. Mo. Ah, I put authority. They're gonna have you get failed, ba? Ah, I pure because ni I institutions your home, nelly. You have corruption. Put more amphar to two tila. Come to fight your So ni the new land is fake. They paid Gambia Ports Authority. Jare. Well, <laughs> but when you take when you look at the whole yeah. public mm. se sector, when you look at the look at the whole public sector, oh, uh, I mean, putting aside the few really who are having high salaries, mm -hmm. a lot of them you simply cannot compare public sector pay yeah. to private sector so, pay. Mm -hmm. we, we all know that. Mm -hmm. So there will be that gap anywhere in the world. You always yeah. see this mm -hmm. gap. The private sector will always pay more. Mm -hmm. But the the, uh, the point is this: when you are in public sector, be careful with your expectations. Yeah. It's just that here, our idea of public sector is for us to extract. Mm. This is what we're talking yeah. about, the colonial mentality and machinery that's still what's operating. Mm -hmm. When I go into the public services, it's for me just what to get. Did if you, you know? don't do that, ah, you know, we know how we wow. say things when yeah. we are out wow. there. Wow. You know, or you find somebody who is honest, you know, ah, we know the language. We know the language. Yes. It's a corrupted language. Mm. Our language is all corrupt. Why it's under the public sector? You have new opportunities as private sector. Sometimes, man, I'm feeling you also illegal in the public sector. So, I'm going to demand. I'm going to demand. I'm going to opportunity. Put am scholarship. You have yeah, yeah. Scho You have leave, study leave. More hamna than All of those, all of these benefits, you have it when you're working for public sector. But never in the private sector. You can't have those things in the private when you're working for private sector. Mm -hmm. So, lulu rek warna moneka a push for you to actually not be corrupt because the hal is binyo jail the local face or they may leave or nga am scholarship is taxpayers money. So you ban reason nga am purnga corrupt wala nga ne yo do ligay man gisu mako. You can do it warek si man dal le le na mungi fadal. I mean man I always say it. Jinga do mi adam Mr. Mbog ak four months of fekasa boba the ligay nyungla fai halis bul just hold halis be. Hold us a dick and axa borom. Right. Do what is expected of you. Ngiri yala kwenye tebe. Nila ni kadifai halis. Kula afai halis. Defla fai because yaya nkul ligi yala. Please, for God's sake. Lula wara. Defko. Right? Lula desi ngabaya kusilo hoi yala. Wayanga neka fi nyingula afai halis. Nekulo defta ligi. Every end of mangajem kila sad. Dula njering. Never. No, dula njering. Honestly. Because you know what? You don't sweat for it. Ligi yola pro amko. 
fim na ni mota sa wa nyun gis nañ sa ño xamne dañu liggey pass li ño am pass li ño am all of those things are happening but anyway no, we just, just take we just we just yeah <laughs> we just going we just going into this so ya ge dañ ño ni very interesting jena ba so ya ge dañ ño ni jena ba hana social issue segment ngeen nek it's very interesting and i like i said mr president you are watching ah, yeah, i'm telling you so what is our next <laughs> so, story next story mr mboch uh, you've been following the papers the issue of these rebels in kasamas clashing with the with the with the purported economic senegalese forces some are saying they are not part of the economic some are saying this are bilateral agreement between the gambia and senegal they are just here because of the agreement but they are not part of the economic uh, contingent in this country what's your take on this issue of kasamas rebellion i mean you you you've been here for for, for decades you are older than all of us mm -hmm. you know the, you know a lot as far as the history of that of this rebellion is concerned right. yes. what is it here for what now i don't know it's been going on since 1982 mm -hmm. um it's a low intensity conflict you see these low intensity conflicts periodically they flare up mm -hmm. this is just another one <laughs> we've had so many in, in in the past and now what is going on i think because of this timber i can call it smuggling mm -hmm. i think it is illegal in senegal now mm -hmm. to, yeah. to 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 do certain things so because of the timber the logging you know we've had many stories a lot of people are doing it illegally even some of our officials were implicated in it because of that it seems gambia i'm afraid i hope you wouldn't be sucked into it mm. <laughs> is it where because of the timber because this has been going on for a very long time but it really didn't have much to do with us yeah. we know that for instance our ex president was meddling in it in because of we all know the reasons mm -hmm. um, um, um why mm -hmm. but generally we were not affected by in uh, by it as it were mm -hmm. in, in any profound in any significant um sense mm -hmm. so but this is it people have died we mm -hmm. have to console them apparently the rebels have um captured what eight uh, nearly so eight, eight, eight yeah. soldiers yeah. and they've said they have no intention of killing one 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 understands that sooner or later we expect that they will be returned mm -hmm. and i also understand that the senegalese soldiers have apprehended two rebels uh, so exactly. maybe they'll have an exchange <laughs> I, I, yeah. I, I didn't know mm -hmm. but once in a while th this is what happens and when you are fi fighting a kind of nationalist movement senegal and kasama that's an interesting one mm -hmm. when you are fighting a nationalist movement i think there is no such thing as winning militarily <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it doesn't work like that you've never seen it anywhere i mean since america had to do a runner from Vietnam. You're fighting a nationalist war. So how are they going to solve it? I didn't know. The other day I was saying to somebody, maybe they need a partial autonomy. <laughs> I didn't know this is how you see political scientists talk about these things. Maybe partial autonomy. But they want a, a kind of independence. And it will keep on going on until they have a political um, solution. You'll never have a military solution with these things. Mm. And, and now we have seen the president has instituted uh, what they call presidential tax force mm -hmm. to investigate the, the circumstances surrounding this whole uh, confrontation mm -hmm. and you know he, he has also you know sent his condolences to, to the families of uh, those who have lost their lives mm -hmm. and also reassuring the people of Fony mm -hmm. that you know peace and stability yeah sure you know it will, will prevail will compromise mm -hmm. in a statement issued by the government's spokesperson Ibrahim Sankara he said lunch part government would allow anybody to launch part mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah 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 i'm just a spokesperson talking yeah. i'm the the, the the president the president faces sort of a different thing you, you have all all sorts of pressures and considerations mm -hmm. so it's a good thing that he has set up a task force for them to investigate what happened and perhaps with him as well he's pretty new in the job for five years is not much mm -hmm. really given the complexity of government and, and all the rest of it so perhaps um, not even perhaps even get a good picture a good portrait of what's been going on and even with him with his experience he's in his 50s so yeah. just as i have some background mm -hmm. he also has some background he's from around here and then he would have known so he will know how to how to um, handle it when you get that kind of talk from the spokesperson, maybe one shouldn't talk like that. Can you imagine a small Gambia? What much do, do you have? You know, entirely surrounded by, by Senegal. Mm -hmm. Senegal mm -hmm. can come and ride over you, can do whatever will really they like when it comes to real politics in reality. It's just that the political reality is such that now 
they wouldn't do that. But, but let's not forget about our size mm. and our capabilities, what we can our do, military. what we can do, what right. should be our own. Right. Our language must be different. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you can't, it doesn't have to be that strident. Mm. <laughs> when, when, you, when you read him, sometimes, you know, but, but it doesn't matter really in the end, it depends on what the president does. Yeah, I, I okay. think for me, I mean, it is, it is really important that mm -hmm. both Barrow and his counterpart, Mackey, dialogue and see mm -hmm. how best they can resolve this issue. Because right. to be honest, I mean, since, since he took over in mm -hmm. 2017, right. the relationship between the Gambia and, and Senegal has really improved. Right. Um, like uh, under Jame, where you know, there was a suspicion, like you said, Jame was believed to be involved somehow, mm -hmm. whether true or not. But uh, these are things that people have really you know, come up with in the past. But I mean, since Baru took over, there has been that cordial battle that between the two countries. I mean, some people are saying it, it's, it's about time that they, they, they start packing. Mm. What, what, what do you make of this thing? For when a community they start yeah. packing. So especially the Senegalese forces in the Fonya region. Mm. Mm. Like people I are asking why Fonya? Why mm. are they still in Fonya? Right. Gambia is quite big, but mm -hmm. why, why just Fonya? I, I hear about... Well, well, what's your take on this thing? Do you agree with that? Call. Well, wh why Fonya? Oh, let's, let's be honest. Most of... That's Yaya Jaime's heartland. Mm. Right. Let's, let's be honest with it. Um, a lot of people there, if you are a to return today, maybe you have an election, they'll probably vote for him. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's just the political pieces, that's, that's what it is. So, um, um, that's why. Now, why sh should they be, he be here? Should they continue? In fact, that question you said with Faroya. Yes, it's here you know, what was why, why were they here? What brought economic to yeah, the Gambia? We know it was to get rid of Jami, mm -hmm. primarily. Yeah. That was it. Mm -hmm. But again, it, it never ends there. It, <laughs> it doesn't. doesn't work like that. It yeah. really never ends there. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, you need to mop up. <laughs> exactly. That, that, and that that's that exactly sort of what thing. the president said. So now, we haven't had a security sector reform at all yet. So there's something that we need to do to our military. Mm -hmm. um, let, let us be careful. We, we, we shouldn't just assume. Well, that's it. We've taken care of a dictator. Yep. Now we've got our voice back and we will fight back and all of this. In times of peace, of course, you can talk like that. But once you see them in the streets with their guns, you all run back home and say, sure. eh, sure. <laughs> otherwise sure. they come out, they, sure. they, they, they'll kill you and stuff like that. See, recently, and, and as well, we've seen coups in Mali, Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. So let us be careful. We still haven't stabilized the, this, the ship of state. Mm -hmm. We yeah. so haven't I really agreed I on the I government. I I I I right, I I right. Are you saying perhaps with the presence of the economic forces in this country that there is no possibility of any coup? Mali is an example. We had the French forces who were in Mali, mm -hmm. and when they were ready to bring that change, they changed, and nothing happens. No, but, but Mali, is me, Mali, me, is Mali is different. Mali is different. Mali is in, 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 in an emergency. Mm -hmm. You have the jihadist stuff. So Mali is politically more volatile. Mm. Uh, as it were. By the way, yesterday I saw a statement where they are putting yeah. ties with France. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, you see, you see, yeah. Yeah. From French to but, but Mr. Now. Moj, um, you see what's going you? on? It's a different, it's a yeah. different I think it's quite different. And uh, you interviewed the president, you yes, interviewed think, President yeah. Adam Abaro, yeah. and when, what he said was, do you want your president to get killed? He no. said that, he said that. Because the reason why he said that has to do with, they're still achieving, they're still achieving, they're still checking. You know, because these were the same people who were there when Jamal were there. But, so but, at the end of the day, like I, you mentioned, I, I, there's nothing. Yes. Yeah, but then, but then for me also, I, I, I would tend to disagree with you somehow. Okay. Baro is the commander in chief of the of the Gambia Armed Forces. Okay. Right? He can easily win the hearts of these people. I mean, mm. he, yes, I, I can tell you, he can easily win the hearts the hearts of these of these fine men and women in uniform. Okay. When Jamal was here, I mean, these were the same people who are thwarted the thirty December coup. This, f this same, I mean, I even, even, even when Jame said he wasn't going, they didn't fight, did they? But they didn't no, have a they didn't. choice at that they point didn't. No, you cannot say they, they didn't have no, choice. No, no, at they that didn't. point, they saw what was coming. It was way more powerful. Let me, let me, let me. You think sure? Yes. You think sure? Let yes. Me. Perhaps you don't know a lot. <laughs> that was it's not about. Scene. No, seriously. Kominaka. Seriously. But I have to tell you this. Um, to me, you know, I live in the tourism development area. I have a few European friends, so they were to ask me, oh, is it going to be war, conflict, and all of that? I said to them, oh, chill, go and chill, nothing is going to happen. Yeah. Once we knew that economic forces were committed, they had flown to Senegal, 
We knew that Yaya didn't have much loyalty within what, the loyalty army. Love, love a lot of others. people were scared of him. Already? He had his 50 or so who left with him to Equatorial <laughs> Guinea. They were perhaps the ones who were enjoying, as it were. And it was a visible. lot of them were not. Nobody was willing to risk your life. They knew what they was they coming, knew. Aleo. They knew. It has nothing even, to do with knowing even, what even, happened even, or not. Even, they even, knew. Even, even whereas they knew. They knew. Even whereas they knew. But I mean, but even with that, the economic forces also were in so what was in house, and that's why when they came, they were playing that delay tactics because they were coming to a country that they didn't know what was in the hands of Jami as well. Actually, let's, let's be realistic here. They are intelligent. Let's be here. Actually, they are intelligent. Mm. Have penetrated they don't already. Lola Kojima is intelligent. Yo, 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 you said you said let's move on you you said that um the president can easily win the hearts and minds of soldiers and stuff like that but that that is an assumption that's that, that's a wish, not policy. See, one must have to work on policy. W with that one, it's neither true, but not, not false. It's not false. We do not know. B but what does it tell you? How, how do you do that? What is the formula for doing that? You are better off having a policy regarding things than hoping that, you know, we will win hearts and yeah, minds. Man, man, so it doesn't they, work they, like they, that. They, 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 they it doesn't that, work I mean, that way. He's the commander in chief. He's the leader. I can tell you for sure, mm -mm. right? Even if you're heading an institution, if you are really, really concerned about the welfare of your staff, you are coming to their well-being. You tell them, give them the what they desire, huh? They will be loyal to you. Mm -mm, I will uh, tell you. I mean, the, 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 you, can, you cannot just say our, our fine men and women can be loyal to the president. I'm not it's saying not that they did it, they did it. Mr. Mbou, yeah, that's loyal. not what I said. No, no, I, was, I was just about to tell you. For me, I think that's not what the I said. The president can easily earn the, 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 the loyalty Bush. and respect of these fine men and women in uniform. Oh, of course. They of are course, Gambians, they are brothers, they are <laughs> sisters. Mr. Mbou. You know, in 1994, DK Jawara was the commander in chief. He was the head. Who took him out? Exactly. Ali, it doesn't work that way. It's not about but, but the fallen. No, it's not no, about no, doing no, what no, they no, want in, in the or behaving of, in, the way. In, in, in the case of Jawara, in the case of Jawara, let, let's just not look at what happened. What preceded that? Balalol the hell. What happened? Why? Lima yes, no, we have Military, but do they work again? Eh? Key the land nehal barrow just because Mulan the nehal the land just Mulan because Mulan might have new law. Do they demand no no? Could they have found new work ideology? I'm actually more out. You see, that's the model we've got from Jamie. We, we need to break from that it's model. different so it's not about it, it, it's about the, the, the position the commander in chief it's not about barrel as, as such because it could be anybody isn't it so that is why policy is important to, to have process objectively written down criteria of doing things and standards that's what a structure means it's not simply about the personality Neha. because personalities change all the time it is really about the structures of office. It's I am it's hand it's in it's by it's my responsibility. It's not about Nehal whatsoever. Yo, but these, are, these are the people who are sacrificing, who are putting their lives on the line for us okay, to sleep. Okay, so Legiman for you and I to sleep. Wakai. So when Lima Bogaham, Mr. Boch, Legi and you are. And so I am called. Mr. Boch, they are well being, they are well being. Mr. Boch, I am a Legi Mabu. Let him tell us your what way in a buga. Sukobaro so, use it and loyal. Come, can I move the fan So, ban strategy la muna use. Wahma. Right now, mm -hmm. it's to one guy in Holland. Mm -hmm. Gambia is ours. Mm -hmm. Yes, Gambia soon dekala. Mm -hmm. Onasanga. You can even go and visit the barracks, right? Interact with them. Yeah. Onasanga. Those are things. No, come on. Those are things that you have to do as a commander in chief. It's normal. Onasanga. But that's not enough. Ali, we them say it later. Wait. Pass away. Don't move. Don't move. Pass away. Funga one. You know what? I, I have trust in you. I have trust in you. Man, get us one year, but there's a suspicion. One man and all, 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 all. On a sanga. Lolo de gala? Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Why it goes beyond that? And I, I, I can tell you for certain, uh, most of these fine men and men and women in uniform, huh? Jamie, Baruch, Baruch can easily earn their respect and loyalty. Honestly speaking, they can. I know what I'm telling you. 
So, like, if you go there's other things, structures, things that you have to put in place. I start to use it. So, if you go to the top, you have confidence in the system. If you go to the top, you have to put it in place. You have to put it in place. It's a big deal. Yeah. It's part of it. Imagine that you have to put it in place. You have to put it in place. You have to put it in place. Commander-in-chief, you have to put it in place. You have to put it in place. That's how. You know what? I'm not processing. I'm not from there starting. Right? I'm not from there starting. Baru yang masa tu, why semua lagi? Kau ada debt dek? Aku yang baru punya. Mandal, siapa kan ini debate? Mandal mah hamut Mister Boy, lu ni kan dia hau. Di pilih yang bateri, yang ni debate. I'm I'm of a different generation, so I'm looking at it from from that perspective. So now I'm thinking, oh my God, the idea of the army really has entered into the body politic, into the consciousness. For us pre jamme we wouldn't think like you. Yeah. It's not that we are right or, yeah. you, or you are wrong. It's not about that at all. It's just a matter of perspective and the political ecology, what has happened, what have I assimilated. I've never really assimilated the army in, in that way. Mm. For me, the army, you are there to serve me. Mm. We know what okay. we went through. Most of them milked it. You know, now we're trying to play as if it was Jamie and a few. Mm. But we know exactly what we went through. The army has not been that productive in Africa. Gambia included. Let us be honest with ourselves. But now, somehow, we've assimilated these things into the political... All right. Thank you so much, <laughs> Mamadou Mboj. Ali, if you want to debate, you don't want to talk to me. 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 Because you don't want to talk to me. You don't want to talk to me. I can't accept it. And you don't want to talk to me. So, if you want to talk to me, you don't want to talk to me. Why? Look at that. Be productively disagreeable. Exactly. Thank you so much, Mamadou Mboj, for joining us on the newspaper review. Now, we will go for a short commercial break and when we come back we'll head right on to social issues we'll be talking about the not too young to lead the parliamentary election and the mayoral election is coming up so we want to know the stance of young people how many young people can we have mr Mbouj is smiling at me right now but we'll go for a short commercial break <laughs> and when we come back we'll delve into that Want it? Order for it and pay quickly using QuickPay on the QMoney platform. With great technology comes ease and convenience. Get a glimpse of what a comfortable life is with QMoney by dialing star 323 hash now. Call 133 for more information. QMoney, Sunyukalpe. light at the end of the tunnel and my technology is the answer i am the happiness in your life i keep you connected and i am q power i am q cell i am senior boss we innovate others follow call 111 for more information Welcome back from that short break. If you're just tuning in, you're watching QTV this morning. So, Ali, now we're heading on to social issues. Please don't bring up a debate. You know, man, you who but ah, the mo buga watch us ma bad. Ma wah ndanka ah, niti mun ma dega. So, thank you so much for joining us, Mohamed Sise. Um, and we'll be talking about the not too young to lead, or if you wish to say, do not too young to run campaign. Um, first of all, um, before we get into the conversation proper. This happened a few years ago for the parliamentary election, I can remember. I just want you to give us a brief history as to how that one worked. 
Did that one walk out? And the people who were elected through that, how was their performance? I think it's important that we get to understand that before we take a look at the plans for um, this year's um, mayoral as well as parliamentary elections. Right. Uh, good morning. Thank you very much, General Fawad. It's a pleasure being here again. And good morning to the entire um, audience out there. Um, not too young to run. The idea is the brainchild of Nigeria. It started in Nigeria, mm -hmm. and it was seen as a, I can call it a political jogger now, like something that you can use to rally people behind you to sort of a movement. Mm -hmm. You know, it was um, gotten from Nigeria and implemented in the Gambia, led by activists in the Gambia in 2017, in the build-up to the parliamentary elections. Actually, uh, we cannot say there has been a lot of achievement there, okay. but um, it was good. Um, however, because the um, people that we supported truly not, not too young to run, actually some of them made it to the parliament, mm -hmm. and we are young people. We have the likes of Mohamed um, Mendao, we have the likes of um, Omar Sise, mm -hmm. who are very vibrant parliamentarians in the Gambia, um, and they were supported. We are not claiming credit for everything that they got as far as support is concerned, but we gave them some imputers to be able to make it to parliament. Um, however, when we did the evaluations, we realized that um, the agenda we put on their desk before they made it to parliament um, has not really been resonated or been brought forward whenever they are on, uh, at, at, at the parliament. And we lamented that several times, that they really have not responded or were not really responsive to the issues we put on their, on their plate to carry to parliament and discuss it. So, but so far, I think we can say so good because it was a start, and then we're hoping to have a better one in the build-up to this year's election. Next so uh, what, this what year's are election these also. issues? What are these issues that you put on their plate that they decided not to implement? And did, do you know why they did not implement it? Was it against their party um, party rules, or what was just the problem? Uh, actually, um, when we say they're not too young to run, it is a youth agenda, it's a youth movement. So anything that we talk about there is about issues that affect young people in the Gambia, okay. ranging from sports, business, entrepreneurship, education, agriculture, and you, you name it. So, well, you know, parliamentarians, they debate on issues at parliament. They mm -hmm. push for laws, they push for policies at parliament. So we don't make the policies, we just put issues and points we think young people are, that are affecting young people in the Gambia, and we wanted them to push that at plenary and push it for these issues to be incorporated into policies that they debate into. So, particularly the budget, the um, youth budget, mm -hmm. Ministry of Youth and Sports, that we need a um, lot of allocation for the Youth and Sports Ministry. You know, but as you say, um, they were not pushed as we expected it to be pushed or them to be pushed because of some party um, conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. So therefore, um, whenever the party's interest comes in conflict with the interest of young people, then therefore the party's interest has a, an edge in most cases. And that is why we felt that they have really not been responsive to us, but they haven't danced into the tune of their parties. Actually, we cannot uh, stop them from doing that because we didn't only support them. Their parties also supported them. Mm -hmm. But I think they should have also done us some justice by putting our issues of concern as, um, as priority mm -hmm. in their um, discourse in that parliament. Okay, so, so should we say that, Alio, you want to now have um, independent candidates as young people to run so that they can push for this movement's agenda? Is that something that you're looking into? Because if you do that as well, how sure are we they can have seats? Because at least political parties are structured, they're existing, they have their basis. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing to change that? Yeah, it's a very difficult and uh, complex issue because, um, in fact, we have... Um, had tough time um, drawing our recruitment strategy. Like, how do we recruit these people? Yeah, that will have been my next question. You yeah. know, how, how, how do we uh, make sure that we are not seen as partisan, uh, a partisan group? Because we are an, an NGO, we are civil society. So when you're supporting a particular political um, uh, representative, you are very likely to run the risk of being seen as a partisan entity so therefore it was really difficult and we are now re rethinking the strategy or we have been rethinking the strategy of um, having a better recruitment strategy which i don't think i should say now because mm -hmm. um, it's still on the um, review, review. Okay. actually and if it is developed fully we can say with the media to see the strategy we have in place and yeah I, I missed the other part of the question, sorry. <laughs> no, I think you've yeah, answered. Uh, you yeah. you for, are yet for, to for decide for on that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. For, yeah. for me, Geneva has raised the issue of the political parties mm -hmm. being more structured mm -hmm. in yeah. identify who contest under, mm -hmm. under their party. I mean, in your case, I mean, 
where do you get the funding, for example, if you have to identify who's going to contest, perhaps you know, not too young? Where do you get the funding to finance their, their campaign? And yeah, la last, um, the last one we did was a co-financing strategy we did. Um, it was self-funded, we can say, although we got some support from some individual persons. But this uh, one, we have definitely mainstreamed the idea into our organizational project-driven mm -hmm. um, activities. Um, therefore, um, recently, the proposal we submitted to our donor agencies, particularly UNFPA, we have inculcated the, uh, incorporated the, um, um, the ideas um, into, into the proposal we sent. And they have responded to us that it's a very good thing and they're interested because it is also in line with their UBIC agenda, mm. the U U U inter mm. uh, party, um, Youth Branch of the Inter-Party Committee. Mm -hmm. And definitely they want to see the youth programming project which promotes youth participation in politics and leadership to definitely be given that momentum. And they have responded. It's not yet approved actually, but we are very optimistic that they will respond to it. So this is the way we want to fund it this year. And we um, hope going forward we will have more people joining. Yeah, so what's, what's, yeah. what's your target? Mm -hmm. um, um, the tar do, you, do you want to have candidates across all the constituencies or what? Um, by the strategy we are developing right now, I think you are pushing me to say some of the details <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Please but, do. but, but um, last, uh, the last one we did, the target was about um, 50 to 100, I'm not sure, I can't remember the exact figure, but mm -hmm. about five of them made it to parliament. Um, this year when we discussed, um, we targeting also 100. You know, we are looking at both what we are able to do mm -hmm. because we don't only want to have a lot of people joining the political landscape, but we also want to be effectively implementing this project. Um, by saying by that, I mean we look because we want to train them on different teams. Mm -hmm. We train them, you know, you support them in many in many ways. So therefore, that requires money, and the more candidates you have, the um, more you require some resources, a lot of resources to do that. So. The target is 100, I can say, on average. Mm -hmm. And we would be happy to have at least one from every party. And also independent candidates are welcomed. Okay. So we will recruit as much as 100 people, both including including independent candidates and people from political parties. All right. Yes. So, Mohammed, is there any vetting? You, the, the reason why I ask this is because <laughs> you are the same organization that calls people to talk about the roles and responsibilities of parliamentarians, ward councillors and more, and talking about the fact that there are certain things that they are not taking care of. Let's remember that parliamentarians have committees in the parliament that they get to chair and they have to hold certain institutions accountable, people who are going there. Mm -hmm. So is there any form of vetting process that you are looking into to check the person's qualification? I'm just asking, I want to mm -hmm. know, are you doing that just to make sure that the right people are in the parliament in as much as we want a lot of young people to be there, but there's a caliber of people that we're looking at to handle our parliament at the end of the day. Is that happening? Rightly so, because w actually we don't have the, we, is, we are not on um, with the power to determine, because the law has already stated the I mean, the people you actually. are supporting, the people yeah. you are pushing yeah. directly, yeah. that's what I'm if talking about. If the law about. allows you to contest you are 21 and you are in sound state of mind and you have met all the constitutional requirements, what we do, we don't also recruit anybody. Um, we also, we vet, obviously we're going to vet because okay. we have a particular committee we'll establish to help us to review the applicants that are submitted and then see whether um, when we support this particular person, he or she is likely to deliver up to expectation. We have a vetting committee. These are all part of the strategy we have in place actually. And we, 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 we also would not only vet, but if we vet, we will also go f for another step forward mm -hmm. to train. Okay. Because you may vet somebody, even if you are applying for a job, you might be shortlisted, interviewed, but even after being given the job, you receive some form of some of induction, some mm -hmm. form of training and orientation so that you can deliver um, with standard. So we are also going to do that. We will train them after vetting them and accepting them in the movement to support them. We will offer them leadership training on governance, on mm -hmm. parliamentary standing orders, and we name them. A lot of things that will make them to be able to deliver up to expectations when they are in the parliament. Now, I, 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 I want to know, I mean, do you want to have young people in parliament who will promote your agenda we just want to have young people in parliament which is which uh not our agenda uh, so does uh, if, speak, if, I, I if, mean if it is just about having peop young people in parliament mm -hmm. have you at any point engaged the political parties because all these parties have what they call the youth wing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. have you engaged them perhaps to, to, to encourage them to, you know, allow young people to contest under their parties ahead of this election. Have you mm. done that? So that is also ongoing. Um, parties have been consulted. And like I said in the beginning, if you run the risk of not involving the parties, 
if you don't involve the parties at the beginning, at the planning stage, you run the risk of having a conflict of interest when you feel like those people are the, yeah. the... So therefore, you need to have that... You need to be able to strike that balance and that compromise and that agreement with the parties so that they will see that you are not being partisan. Exactly. You are just with the... Uh, you are promoting the agenda of having youth young, leadership. Young youth being empowered. Because when you say youth empowerment, it's about leadership as well. Mm -hmm. They should be there to represent the voices of the young people. That is what we are looking for. And it's not only to have young people being represented by numbers, but they are not there to represent only young people. We want to have young people being empowered to represent the entire country because we say the young people are the, um, are the strength of this country. You mm -hmm. know, The demographic um, advantage is there by numbers, by skills, by energy. So we need them there. We need them there to and represent again, not only young people but the entire country. And again, let's talk about winnable, should I say, mm -hmm. constituencies. Mm -hmm. Because each political party, we know where your strength is mm -hmm. when it comes to constituency or region. You know, sometimes they just take women or, or young people and just throw them in a constituency they know clearly well they're not winning. <laughs> yes, so yeah. what are you also doing to actually do your research to check political party will make a ban region la money, ban constituency mm. to be able to also achieve your agenda as to putting these people there. Um, is that happening? A very important point to take, yes. to take note of as we recruit and as we um, roll out this project. Yeah. Because um, we can see the political um, atmosphere right now in the wake of the presidential elections. Yeah. It is likely that the euphoria is attached to um, the incumbent. So <laughs> exactly. it's, it's difficult to have a strong hold right now for most political parties because, you know, um, the presidential elections and the parliamentary elections are just four months apart. Mm -hmm. So that advantage the incumbent has, even if the incumbent refuses to um, install young people that we are looking for, we will find it very difficult to fight because um, the people that we are maybe other political parties would support young people, would agree with us to put young people as candidates, put up young people as candidates, but the power of the um, ruling party would definitely be a challenge. And we are also assisting that. We are doing some reconnaissance, as we say, mm -hmm. to ensure that we have um, a strong understanding of what is the power of every party in every constituency. That will be vital in helping us strategize who do we think we should support here, and who not to support here. Okay. It's, a, it's easier said than done. It is easier said than done. Yes. Uh, like you mm. said, in the past election, you were in 50 or what? 50 um, to 75 to, and yeah. You got, but on, you got only? Uh, but the ones you supported, five of them made it to parliament. Five, five of them made it to parliament. Yeah. So this time, was your target? Like you estimate, maybe, okay, we, we might go for 50, but perhaps just try to get 20 or <laughs> If you what, see What's your target? The percentage there, if you do the percentage, I think five or 50 would be, uh, I don't know, is okay. it? 25, I don't know oh. how many percent, or 5 percent, I'm not sure, <laughs> but <laughs> with the 100, at least we would want, because parliament is 53 seats, yeah. and I know we're going to have more than 53 contestants, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, so if one, if there are two per constituency, we will be talking about 106 or so per contestants, but um, our target, as we are talking right now, we want to have at least 25 percent of parliament being young people that we support. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important if you are doing your vetting mm -hmm. and all that, make sure you consider young people who are mm -hmm. very active and currently in their, those districts, mm -hmm. interacting with the local people right. is important. Mm -hmm. Not just having somebody who represents a youth organization based in KMC and you are from Jara or Kiang mm -hmm. and yeah. you come and say, you know, I want to contest on that Kiang when mm -hmm. perhaps people don't even know in your, yeah, in your no. district. Yeah. So perhaps, you, know, you have some mm -hmm. young people who are very active in those districts, yeah, doing sure. something right. interacting with the communities. Right. Mm -hmm. They stand a better chance mm -hmm. of winning mm -hmm. than somebody who is just based here in KMC running a youth organization and claiming to be from Jara <laughs> or Kiang. And you want to contest when you go back there, like man, you long. About I'm Yeah, we do see so those scenarios. That very and like before, people, yeah. just to strengthen what yeah. Ali said, to mm. add on to that, to get you answer. Yeah, I know there was a program that was organized for the youth interparty committee, mm -hmm. and I got reports that the youth interparty committee is not quite organized. It is not. Unfortunately, very sad that the same young people who want to lead, mm -hmm. they're saying they're not too young to lead. Are not organized. Now, in that Bukom case, organized. now in that case, I think the blame um, I would shift it to the main interparty committee okay. because the youth, the UBIG is a subsidiary of the um, main interparty committee. Mm -hmm. So therefore, whatever the UBIG is doing, it's like it got to pass through the um, main branch. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if the main branch doesn't give in, it becomes difficult to get to the UBIG. And because the, in fact, the main interparty committee is not well structured nationally, mm -hmm. they don't have very good na regional structures. Yeah. So therefore, it is replica. It's a replica of what is happening in the UBIC. So it's difficult, it's a tedious process, but our partners are definitely working with us 
so that we can help them to reorganize. We've got the funding for them. We've got to support. We have money um, that we have in place already to support them. Right now, we have over a million dollars is lying in our account, just meant for the UBIC to be, to be established and mm -hmm. to be operationalized. But, you know, the issue of um, party interest is also another problem. Last year, we had to chew a very fibrous tissue just to get this thing done. Mm -hmm. And I, we are foreseeing it to be uh, much more difficult um, going forward because the inter-party committee is set up that the ruling party is the chair and then the biggest opposition party would be the co-chair. Mm -hmm. So you would like to have NPP, UDP, chair and co-chair. Okay. So you can see that it would be difficult to have their efforts mustered and get things done because uh, of the rivalry and then stuff like that. Still on the issue of young people, let's mm -hmm. look at the issue of women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, women participation in politics. Mm -hmm. I hope that is also considered Very well. by you because yeah. it's important. We don't just have, want to have uh, gentlemen who just come and say, I want to come on the <laughs> not too young to run. We have so many chum, bright young, 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 straight young women. Yeah, like sure. Yeah, sure. Who can also <laughs> contest. <laughs> 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 Ali, what is Mangi de Faru? Mangi de Faru. Mangi de Faru. You know, he's Kanwin South, right? Mangi de Faru. What Kanwin South? Hey. So he lives in Kanwin South, I guess. Oh, Mangi de Faru. Nama bai. No, but yeah, I think the female participation is also important. Yeah. Because parliament right now, only 10% is female yeah. as we talk. So we are also being very cognizant of that that we have a lot of um, female being represented. We would approach people like Geneva if they're interested yeah. and try to support them. We are not partisan. We just well, want right to support now them. We are politically free elected, mm -hmm. to nominate it, yes. and that's the speaker. That's yes. five. Yeah. Yeah. Five out of 53 yes. is about 10% yeah. of it. 10% of it. Very small. 0.6, I think. So yeah. Yeah. very small. So not only at parliament, but even at the executive, 17% mm -hmm. of, of sec um, executive only 70% is yeah, female. So I think they are free, if I'm right. Yeah. Yes. yes, and you go to local government, it's 6%. Out of the 120 wards we have, only 6% of local government representatives are female. So that is um, a staggering number. It's astounding in my view that it is showing that women in this country really are not having political representation. Yeah, but, but don't that. you think, Mohammed, it should start with um, the um, political parties themselves having like some sort of in-house quota system? internally where it is fixed that there's a particular percentage that is actually meant mm. for women or meant for young people so the deliberate policy mm. starting in house should be uh, a, I think good a good one a good number of them have that as you know, we speak a good number of them have the quota system women here and there that these are theoretical things you know but mm -hmm. to practice it then it's, it's not it's happening then then they don't have it's it a, if a they good are number not of them. i've interacted with a lot of their um Party, internal party strategies, and I've read and seen that they have those things in, in their strategies, actually, even their manifestos and the like, but it's not been operationalized. A, a lot of them are not led by women. Yeah. A lot of them are not having women leadership in their executives, mm -hmm. and it's good that we start looking into those things because we have been seeing women over the world doing great things when they are leaders. So why can't it happen in the Gambia? Well, I can just share with you a research we just did not long ago. It's yet to be published, but it has been approved for mm -hmm. publication that women in the Gambia reported that we, we did a national study on it, funded by UNDP. And a lot of women in the Gambia reported that the re main reason why they are not contested for political uh, office are two, mm. financial constraints and gender stereotype. Mm. This turns out mm. that there are some social constructs that if you stand there as a woman to contest, yeah. you receive some, they cast as persons exactly, to you, yeah. they define you, they mm. profile you, the stereotypes, and then mm. all those social constructs of lacking the belief in women, coupled with the financial cha challenges of funding your political activities, mm. has definitely stood out. Yeah, because of yeah. the belief, as an, as class be pro gorla, and, yeah. 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 and exactly you know what's so. funny? I know that particular research showed finances and stereotypes, mm. but just to tell you that mm. the stereotypes, I'm 100% sure, stood out. Mm. Yeah. Because we've even seen it in the Gambia here, mm -hmm. where when we had women mm -hmm. coming out to, to declare their interest, people went and researched them, yep. checked them. Are they married? Mm -hmm. Are they single? Mm -hmm. Who are they with? What are they doing? Yep. How do they dress? And for the man, they don't even care if you're living alone. Mm -hmm. They don't care if you are married or single. Mm -hmm. It's about the woman 
the woman's looks and all of that. So normally, the stereotypes get to stand out even more than financial support. Yeah, I'm sure, sure. Sure. And well, you can have a case in point. The is the case of Marisok. Yeah. When she declared her interest, you could see the. She was bullied. Yeah, and even as a doctor, doctor, as a in sure. 2017, sure. 2016 rather. You could, if you follow, if you had followed social media, you could see how people were, you know, discrediting her and yeah. then the stereotype that a woman will never leave this country, you mm -hmm. cannot leave, you know, all mm -hmm. those um, um, disparaging remarks mm -hmm. definitely discourage women in this country. And it starts at the household. That's why yes. we have a strong recommendation that the Minister of Education should start mainstreaming gender education in the curriculum mm -hmm. at the lowest tier, tiers yes. to ensure that you grow up believing in every gender as a, as a child. Therefore, when we move to the next generation, we will have the power of women being recognized in the Gambia. Yeah, it, it, it is It is very important. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Aliu, I think that's yeah. all with um, Mohamed Sisi. Quite interesting, Sisi. and we wish yes. you all the best. Thank and you. we yeah. hope, I mean, this time we might see at least 20 young people <laughs> in, parliament, in, parliament, in parliament, yeah. parliament who will be there to deliver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know Aliu is choosing me, but I'm going to come and buy my default. No, yeah, well, you are already in the faro, so... Bae ma jagaro. Yeah, bae Mohamed Bawad Baraka Benen. Suma jagaro. Yeni basungo in parliament. Wow, bae ma jagaro. Manda ma jog di yuhu di pangas gaya. Man bae force duwara am da faa am. Ha? Buboba, nyune ma wanyi sabat, no pili. Wale nyuda ama si parliament. Ngane falla de hewe, si parliament be fili. South Africa. South Africa. Man, you have South Africa. Man, Marco introduced Bill Gambia. No, it's Man, the far am there. The far am all in you buy. Man, I will not take no for an answer. Hamka. Malay ma agaya me. Wow. So, anyway, I think I'm, I'm wishing you well Thank and you. hoping that you'll have more young people in the parliament. Thank you. And um, I want to also say that, Aliu, in as much as you wanted the people in parliament to mm. push for young people's agenda, mm. they have their political parties as well. Mm. For me, it's not even about pushing a specific agenda like you mentioned. Yeah. It's about the country as a whole yeah. and, and just being young people and able to And lead. it's good you yeah. have raised that as a final point. Yes, that it's important. We are not partisan. Yes. We are not affiliated to any political party. Right. Yeah. And that, that, those are our core values. Yes, right. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> Aliu here can, 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 can do that. Yeah. Aliu yeah. here can... No, but not them jara, them contest jara. Oh, ah. Yeah, no, the nomination is in March, so he's a start preparing now. The nomination is in March. <laughs> ah, man, I can support them. Bubo, ba, man, I can't hear it. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. thank you so much, thank you so much um, Mohamed Sisi, uh, for joining us. So we'll go for a short commercial break, and when we come back, the program continues. With so many things to do in a single day, it's important to have a network you can trust. When there's family and friends to connect with and business calls to make, you need a network that is reliable and fast. Talk longer, browse faster, go farther and roam wider. When your network is solid, the world is your oyster. QCell, your trusted network in the Gambia. Sahalis, Simum Ginagawe, Tayoba, Legi Agria, Munda Yot Sahalis, Bayakosa, Bitimbrew, Sisakim Money, the Dosi Fader, Bojote Abhiba, Sisa Telefunbi, Nejonga Copper, Bubayakosa, Bitimbrew, Munga Dem Set, Kim Money Agent, Bula Gilajeke, Jot Sahalis, the Dosi Fader, Bula Nehe, Munga Kojin de Credit, Q Power, Walla Jeffan Deco, Agin and Kim Money Service, Gauna, Burna, Tenopalena, Pur Amsilula Wood, Won you see one three three. Q Money, Sunyu. Nganoro tarale, birin dunia bedatila, adabe na baluo konole, nzula ta noro, purka na do kuolke, kana bungo lo, kana fengol fi, hanimfanang kana kanunyolje. Noro ka kuol sone yandi. Woto kiusel ya kiu pawa sanya kutole nati. Isela kas pawa sotono katabake. Anin nying kiusel la nying kot kuto. Ila dunia malandi. Anin nying star 363 has. Katabake. Hanna tara ibela suokono ila ofesoko. Anin dula. Star 363 has kumandi sai. Kiu Power, Kiela Dunia Malamalandi, Kiusa, Sunyubos.
ntolle ngachilo walang dole mol noma with so many things to do in a single day it's important to have a network you can trust when there's family and friends to connect with and business calls to make you need a network that is reliable and fast talk longer browse faster go farther and roam wider when your network is solid the world is your oyster qso your trusted network in the gambia In your SUV life, S-Pass Motors, the new authorized dealer for Kia. Visit us today or call us on back from that short break if you're just tuning in you're watching QTV this morning and I'm here with my co-host Ali Sise and now we're heading right to our click segment joined by Churchill Belder welcome to the program thank you very much um, if you're just joining us this is this morning show it's your boy Churchill Belder and I'm proud to be your host of the click segment I mean what is a morning show without entertainment and that is why we brought you one of the most vocally gifted dancehall artists of our generation Coming straight from Basse, A2 the Fulani. Dono, greetings Gambia. But if you mention in Basse, you have to mention like, you just say the best place in the Gambia. Really? So you don't know, the Fulani Batman in the building. Basse boy. Yeah man. Share experiences of growing up um, in Basse. Like. Well, uh, like I just said, Basse is the best place in the Gambia. Like I've been all around the country, but. Basse is just the best place, like, and, and then... Hold, hold it right there. If you say Basse is the best place in the Gambia, hands down. what what made you come all the way from Basse straight to the Congo? Why? Well, uh, making it the best doesn't mean that you have everything that you <laughs> want in there. But then it's simply the best place that you can possibly live, you okay. understand? Okay. Yeah, I came here because, okay, maybe our means of work uh, or, 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 some t or the things that I need to work, I can easily get them over you, here. You have the it, access here. Exactly, but then, Basse is just the best place in the Gambia. Nice, Hands nice, down, nice. Yeah, Saros to all my Basse farm. Don't know, represent. I, I'll give you that. So, are you trying to? Uh, are you working with Basse artists? Do we have artists in Basse? Are you trying to recruit someone there? Yeah, I, I. There are actually there are a couple of them there, like someone like Blazer, and then Brown Skin, like is someone that I even yeah. started with. So. <laughs> Yeah, I, I have a project that I'm taking back there, inshallah. Wow, like wow. Soon, yeah. That's nice. Uh, normally, people shy away from where they come from. Mm -hmm. But in your own case, it's different. There are people that normally say, you to come home from Jiggy, do they represent Fufu full, full, full time? But I feel that y they don't know you personally because, man, I don't have that vibe. Where whenever I hear A2, it's always busy. Exactly. I mean, okay, I mean, uh, it's that, that's always the proposition. Like, yeah. people always okay say this and say that but then someone who know me like very well know that wherever i stand i always say but say this but say that but sometimes it doesn't have to be like uh okay if you're going in a way like there's a way that you go maybe i'm not like living there yeah. maybe some of them might think okay because i'm not there anymore yeah. like yeah. i've not oh i don't go there always it doesn't mean that i don't represent them i carry but say anywhere anywhere I am, you go. Me, but why are you not going there frequently 
You have your of people. Of course, there. I do go frequently. They just don't see me. See you. Oh, oh. I know. I, I, I understand. Exactly. They can see you all the time. Exactly. That's true. So share your experiences, uh, your music journey. Like coming from Basse, coming here in the combos, making it here. And how did it work for you? Well, yeah, it's, 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 it's all part of the Actually, it started way back when I was going to school. You know, okay. I finished my school in here. Back then I was doing it, but it was nothing serious. Okay. <laughs> you know, because of my dad and stuff, you know. If someone know where I'm from, like, you would never think that I'll ever do music. So your dad so. wasn't endorsing your starting no, point? No, really, okay. not really. Okay. My dad is a scholar, you know. He's a wow. Scholar, wow. So, yeah. So, but then uh, his concern was me finishing school and hold on to something. So that's what I did. I was working at Rail Insurance. So I just quit like three years ago. You quit? Yeah. You quit your job? Yeah. Now it's full time music. Yeah, man. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's difficult, you know, in this music industry, if you don't have the finance, mm -hmm. you know, to support your project. Mm -hmm. So we've seen a couple of your videos here and there. It's like you're investing in vi into visuals. Yes. So what we'll do, we'll just take a short break, watch your video, and we'll be right back with A2 the Fulani. Yeah, man. Stay tuned. Two, two. Oh, records, baby. Yeah. Yo, why, why, why? You stylish, why are you? Check the style there. Mandala for my son. Original. No for my tea. Original. As it ain't when we wear. Original. It's a loud and clear. Original. Swag for my son. Original. For my rum and your heart. Original. And phone for my tea. Original. Original man, original, original man, man, original, original man. Clean one man stay out, bitch, it's all in support I'm a rap and you're not tech You're not tech, you're not tech I'm Jury SMS mm -hmm. Call her give me raw flex The original done, no red and tech, no check mm -hmm. Man a bad man, man a bad man 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 Original done Two to a records, baby yeah. Mandala buma sol, no buma tie. Everything we me we, say it a loud and clear. Man, buma rum man you hold. See man, phone buma tie. Everything we me we, ah na na. Original man, original, original man, man original, original man. From that original song, yeah, Etu, are you sure that everything you're wearing right now is original? Check for yourself. Really? Why? Well, well, let your phone me, let your phone me. Yeah! <laughs> I got a legit one, man. <laughs> everything is original. Nice, nice. So what, what inspired this originality? Well, it's just, I mean, it's just way of life, you know, originality, you know. It's just like, okay, this is a start where I started, you know, okay, okay, back then I was doing a reggae dancer, like strictly hardcore reggae dancer. Okay. I'm still is doing that, but then uh, you will see I was more into the patwa than uh, mixing it with, 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 with my native tongue. Okay. You understand? Okay. So then. But then I went to a point I realized like no matter how much I can sing, no matter how much I can move. If the originality is not there, they're not gonna vibe with it. Exactly. Right, I, right. And I can never be a Jamaican, bro. I can only be a Gambian, you know. That is the mentality we have here. Right? Exactly. So. We we want to we want to sound exactly like it is out there, you know. So just 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 do you, be you. That's exactly. not no one can do a better job of being you than you your own self. Exactly. So uh, we see that 
you were doing this um, full line episodes on YouTube, but mm. we are no longer seeing those yeah, video videos. Yeah. What's I up mean, with those videos? I mean, uh, okay, it, it will come back, but then uh, right now, like, I've, I'm working on an album. At the same time, another EP, I just uh, dropped the full line EP. And it's, it's lit. It's yeah, lit. Thank you. Lit. Thank so what are, what, what are we expecting from you henceforth? You could just wrap up with that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, bigger things coming, more collaborations. My album will be fire. I promise y'all. And when it is when when when, when is the concert? Yeah, uh, the concert Manjai Park at dawn on 19 February. See ya. Just, Yo, uh, just, yeah, just briefly be, before he goes, I mean, uh, I just have uh, oh. a, a question for him. I mean, okay. it is someone that uh, I've, I've really known from the days he was starting his music career together with Brown Skin. I mean, you are all from... Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was there on, yeah. on, uh, as, as a journalist and I okay. think I'm among the first who used to write stories about him True. You know, on the Observer back mm -hmm. then. For people to know something is happening in Basse and I'm so proud to see him. You know, coming coming this far, he's been somebody who's been, you know, very steadfast, and he really loves what he does. I, I just want to know uh, what has what, what have been your challenges, some of the challenges that you have faced uh, along the journey. I know at the beginning it was it was it, it wasn't easy for both you and you know Brown Skin who is yeah. still in Basse. What are some of the challenges? I mean, uh, you could see like okay, for someone uh, like me, I've I've managed to move and stay, but Brown is still out there. Understand? And I mean. I could actually say finance because someone like me, you see, I invest so much in my videos and I still True. like, okay, and I still feel like I need to do more, but to do that, <laughs> I need the capital. <laughs> You understand so that's the i mean that's the only thing but then alhamdulillah we're working with what we get and go get brown skin i still fight with him he's still in basse <laughs> yeah. time we will be fight i'm like bro buy my red and i put my friend get out oh, of he will come he will come he will yeah, come definitely. He's, he's also yeah. just, um, yeah. okay nice that was all we had for you on the click segment we're bringing you hottest artists right now check out next week fire 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 until then it's a goodbye from me Peace. All right, from Tati Balder, we're done here. Saturday is the game. Well, Saturday Remind is them. the game. And yeah. CAF has said that all our players have tested negative. negative. So, Ali Umbane, how are you? No, Tell game is Saturday like at 4 p.m., ah. 5 p.m. in, in, in Duala. Why are you doing that? Well, 4 p.m. in, in, in the game. <laughs> so, Saturday is like, I'm going to say, I'm red, white, blue, white, green, blue, yes, green, and support boys. Yes, we come your way next week. You're going to be in the Cameroon. We're going to be in the semi-final. We're going to be in the final. Bye-bye. <laughs> Adabe had a madula baluolacon, and no Hadabadunka fell off of Binda Aconocono, and then the Kaku Senao. I could put me a logo at Hadabadun Mantora. Madam, one stop water solutions limited, Ibijan the Gambia Banco Kang, and Nunya Fitaro and Natal Maya Loku, Isala Jul Kende and the Anusa Senan, Inata Lepuka G, Kendo G, Senao Natal Gambia Banco Kang, Jomia Loko at Al Mantora, and Nunjio Diataba. One stop water solutions limited, Fitar and Natal Maya Loku, I'll say Munafanola, Alla Pompo, Isala Jul Tente, Yasen and the coming Alla Falanyam. Naketa. Pumpoti bang abo holo for navel la pipe hole. Walla a filter sifa o sifa. One stop solution si a nati alele. Ten inch filter set of three ya sot alele. Filter me aloko acid yota a ten ten. Natara banko le ba kono fa kenyo. Walla kanka mo be bije sa be bon. Filter from a member ko twelve inch set of three. Filter me aloko acid yota a ya dada a ya seni andi mense beta alla jata kenda ro fana sot alele. City of block carbon filter. O fana mu filter me aloko acid chemical o bondi no gel kono le mense beta alla jata kenda ya. Filter member ko city of block carbon. Mensi Giola Chemical Obe, Bondi Akono, Ruka La Jata Kende Asa Hand. Nim filter Sabo Obe, Kiliwo Kilina Pansunduku. Now what a tank called Fanan Sotali. Kabirin 500, 5000, Pokata 10,000 liters. Plumbing fittings for Amber Mulbule, Alcimol Tarano, Sukuta Highway, Maria Makunda Johnson. Well, Esimol Kumandi 505-5691-796-8271. One stop water limited solutions. Inata Leka GQ Obe, Sonende, Gambia Banco.